welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do an updated wear and tear on my Louis Vuitton Victorine wallet. So I bought this one in October of 2018. So I've had it for quite a while and I can definitely share the wear and tear and the pros and cons of this wallet. So first off, um, when I bought mine, it was $5.45 and right now it's only $5.50. So with the price increase, it only went up $5. So that's not terrible. Um, mine is in the fuchsia color. That just means that the button is fuchsia and then so is the inside. It still comes in rose ballerine and monogram. So you've got a few options. Um, and then I also believe it comes in like Dami Ben, um, the Empreinte and stuff like that. So, you know, if you don't like monogram, you can definitely go with completely something else and get the same thing. So anyway, um, but this is the one that I have and it just looks like this. It's one piece of canvas on the outside. The little gold button thing says Louis Vuitton on it. And then that of course is the fuchsia color. Now everyone did warn me that when I got it, um, this would not last, that it would peel off or whatever, but mine looks perfectly fine and I haven't had any problems with that. So if you're worried about that, I definitely would not. Um, yeah, mine's good to go there. Um, Another thing I should say is I have used this the whole time I've had it. I have not switched out of it a single time. So no matter what bag I use, even if I use my Pochette Matisse that's really small, I still put this in there. I'm not someone that changes my wallet often, and yeah. I've literally had the Sarah wallet, which is the full size, the pocket organizer, which is smaller than this, and then this, and this is by far my absolute favorite. So just a quick overview of it. That's what it looks like, you know, with nothing on the back. And then inside, I, I took my stuff out of here though, just for this video, but inside you have six credit card slots like this. And I only put single cards in there. I do not ever double them. So mine are still pretty tight. I haven't had any problems with them sticking. I have heard that some people say that the inside of theirs gets sticky, but as of right now, I don't have a problem. So <laughs> hopefully I won't. Um, it says Louis Vuitton Paris here, which means that mine is probably made in the United States. Otherwise, it would have a made in uh, stamp. People freaked out about that whenever I did my video. People were saying it was fake because it didn't have the made in. But you totally forget if it's not made. I mean, if it is made in the United States, it usually doesn't say it anymore. It'll just be like this. Because um, they're clearly not proud of stuff that they make in the United States. Anyway, it's got two pockets here and I tend to keep an extra card in here and then I keep like my library card and extra money like I do hideaway cash and I put that in there too. Um, then the pocket is big enough for cash to lay flat and you have the change wallet of course and there's a um, zipper pull here. Okay so to go over the features um, or the wear and tear really. Mine does have an indention right here from putting my cards in and that's perfectly normal that's gonna happen and I don't know it doesn't it doesn't really bother me whatsoever but yeah I've got the indention there the outside over here looks perfectly fine everything on here is great um, the biggest wear and tear that I have is gonna be the um, the glazing so mine has come apart on a few areas let's see like right here you're not gonna be able to really see it I don't know I don't think but the glazing is completely gone right there. I think it has separated too. If not, it's starting to. Um, and then this part over here, these are all perfect. But then I think at the bottom, yep, this is where it's separated. It's completely, like, I'm pretty sure you can see it if I do that. It's completely separated. So I could probably send it in to have it reglazed. I would have to pay for it because it's been over a year. Um, I actually asked about that after I had it for a few months, not even a full year. I saw that some of it was already starting to do that. And when I asked for, you know, what it would be to, um, have it reglazed, I was quoted a price. So I don't know what they honor anymore as far as glazing goes, but I'm not going to pay for it. I'm just going to let it go. Um, on the other side, it has worn off over here, but not separating. And then on the other side, it's just worn off on the inside, but there's no separating. So again, there's only the separating on that one side, but yeah. Inside, it's still really beautiful in my opinion. Um, I'm not sure what the light is picking up or what the camera's picking up, but um, it it is darker here. Like it's got some, some black spots on it and I'm not really sure why because it's not like I rub anything on here. I literally just put my cards in the pocket, but it definitely looks dirty. <laughs> 
Uh, yeah, I could probably wipe it down. That would probably be a good idea. Yeah, I should probably do that. I'll probably do that <laughs> when, we're, when I'm finished doing this. But anyway, um, the zipper is still perfect. The inside of my pocket, though, is extremely, extremely dirty. Um, I use it for change, so it... It shows it. I just think it's stupid to buy a wallet that has a change a change holder and not put change in it. Like you could get the same wallet, but the smaller version, I cannot remember what it's called, that does not have this and you know probably pay a cheaper price. Or you can get this with the change pocket and use it because that's what it's for. Um, but anyway, I do have a spot right there. I'm not sure how well you can see it, but it's a really dark spot and that's from the button and I can feel it completely makes me a little bit nervous that it's going to wear through, but I guess time will tell on that one. I'm really hoping it doesn't because if it does go through there, it's going to completely ruin the interior of that. But yeah, I guess we'll see. Um, the inside of the cash part, I think it's pretty good. It's not super dirty. Um, this part is like, I don't know how to call it, it's like a grained leather, but then if you look at the other side, it's completely smooth. I don't know if I showed that last time, but yeah, it's completely smooth. Um, the date code is up here and mine is SD4138. So yeah, it's way up there. I don't know if I was able to see that as well last time, but then again, I, it was new, so I hadn't opened it as much, but yeah, I love this thing. It works wonderful when it is full. It's easier to open and close. It's totally different when something is empty and you're trying to close it, but yeah, it works great. I love it. I throw it in all of my bags. I don't baby it whatsoever. I've definitely just grabbed it and taken it whenever I've needed to. Um, yeah, I love it. I definitely really do recommend it. If you're considering or really wanting a small wallet, I would go with the Victorine. I've heard a few people have problems, but I just don't think that they're that big of problems. I feel like they are truly wear and tear. Um, no matter what, glazing is going to mess up when you're opening and closing something like this. You can't expect this to not separate. I had my Sarah wallet. I used it 10 years straight. Like 10 years didn't switch out and it definitely did that too. So, and mine was made back when their quality was completely different. So you have to expect that it's going to happen. Um, something that does bother a lot of people is the placement of the button and the placement of the corner and how this goes into this pointy thing and the fact that the button is not always completely centered. Um, I know mine's not 100% completely centered, but I don't care. If you do care, you might want to go into the store and look at all of them because the majority of them are not like perfectly placed. So yeah, I just, I didn't really care. So it didn't bother me, but that's it. If you have any questions or comments on this wallet, just anything I didn't go over or anything you're curious about, just let me know down below and I will do my best to answer them for you. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!